a lot of you have asked, what kind of maintenance, what kind of deadheading, what do we do with perennials as the summer goes on? Because what perennials do, they bloom, they go away, sometimes you just have the dead heads on them, what do you do? So peonies is a big one. I give you a lot of tips on peonies early on in a different IGTV. So now when they're at this stage and you're seeing them just kind of looking kind of boring, kind of lax, what the issue is here is a lot of people leave them and it's not that it's gonna kill the bush, but right now the shrub is putting so much energy into making these big seed heads and seed pods that it's not focusing on its roots like it should. I know I sometimes say roots and I sometimes say roots, roots and we are just gonna live with it. So what you wanna do is go down beyond all the buds and blooms that were on there and go to the next set of true leaves and then just make a nice cut right above it. And that's what you need to do for this season. This is gonna help it focus on its energy, on its root growth, and just really put it back into the energy of that plant so it's not focusing on all these other items that are really gonna stress it and strain its energy away. You know, it's honestly a pretty quick task and it can be therapeutic. Do it in the evening, even if it's hot. It cleans up the shrub too and I really like the look better once all those are gone. So that's peonies and that works for tree peonies, herbaceous peonies, and ito peonies, all of them. Rose bushes are another one. You probably saw my pictures early on of these beautiful roses full of blooms. So once it gets that full flush of blooms, you then get intermittent bloom throughout the summer. But to help promote those a little bit more, it's best, again, to deadhead back all of these blooms. And again, I go back to the next set of true leaves, so you cut off that tip of all these blooms. So what these are, you've probably heard of rose hips. These are rose hips. Back in the 90s, people used to make potpourri out of them. When you'd go to craft shows like I did with my mom, you'd find potpourri and be like, oh, that's a rose hip. I, it's probably still done. I love it if you do it. Um, we are just gonna cut all those off. And what that does again is, these actually take a lot of energy for the plant to keep pushing into and making these grow and dry and produce seeds. So instead, when you cut them off, it's gonna focus on all that energy going right into the plant and into more blooms. So when you're able to cut all these off, then they can focus on producing more of what we want to see, which are what? These beautiful blooms that are about to come. So if you can go through and deadhead, it looks like a task, but look, every one actually just helps. So even if you don't get them all, don't feel bad. Every so often too, this is when I go through and say, you know what, I kind of want to shape this up differently anyway. So if you want, you can just kind of take one off, but I kind of like now how this one is growing and I have my beautiful head coming through there. So another big maintenance factor in perennials is going to be, oh, which by the way, I should have said with roses, it's probably best to wear gloves just because, you know, you'll hurt yourself. But if we walk over here to a place where I have a lot of meadow sages, and this is true for sages, for Veronica, Salvia, they have a big spring bloom flush like I've been talking about. And then they kind of look like this. They kind of get tired. Their blooms are kind of not as much. You can see that they've really given off most of their blooms. So there's not as much even for the pollinators and they're not fun to look at. They start opening up like this not looking as good. So to promote new growth, I'm just gonna take my shears and cut them all back at least one third, if not halfway. And what that's gonna do in a couple weeks, and I know that sounds really soon, but really soon, there's gonna be tons of new growth on this. They're gonna look much better and they're gonna have a lot of new blooms on them too. And that goes for any of these. I'm gonna cut all these back. Anytime you see a, a spent bloom on a plant, especially a perennial, and you nip it back, you're helping that plant put its energy back into either its root growth or produce more flowers. And that's exactly what we wanna do. We wanna help it produce more flowers that looks better and it's better on the plant. So I'm gonna finish this up and then you can see how it really is gonna clean up, okay? So I've gotten this whole side done, and as you can see, I save anything I'm cutting off from deadheading or anything I cut off from perennial cleanup because I compost all my pile. Anything green, leaves, flower heads, that all adds great items to your compost to compost down. So it does not go to waste. This is how easy it is to do some early summer maintenance and help some new growth to come. So what I love is layering plants. So as I'm deadheading these and they don't look as good, these hydrangea in the back are looking great and still doing good. So your eye isn't just focusing on what needs to now grow back. There's plenty of time this summer for it to grow back. There's going to be new blooms. I will update you in stories and pictures. If you have questions, keep sending my way. 
I love to hear how you're using these videos and how you're sharing them around and tagging people and telling them to use them and watch them. That's the point of gardening, to help each other grow and to keep it going. Keep the questions coming, I'm gonna keep deadheading.